What's going on, everybody? Uh, I just want to take a couple of minutes to talk about a couple of things that, you know, I think are real interesting. Um, number one, you know, watching the NFL Combine being out there this weekend and then um, seeing some uh, NUC alum uh, go and run uh, brings to mind some really interesting things that, that I want every athlete out there to understand. Number one, where you start is not where you're going to finish. Um, but if you got the right attitude and the right approach to everything, you're going to have a chance to be real successful. I look at DK Metcalf. He came to our camp um, in 2011 in, in Georgia, one of our Georgia Atlanta camps, and, and was one of the MVPs um, and just kept getting better and more physical. Uh, and he was very good then. But, you know, you see him run a, a – a, a, it's at six four two thirty run a four three three. You see someone that's that's put together the the attitude and the ability to keep improving to become better. Uh, same thing with Rashad Gary uh, when he was an eighth grader. We had discovered him. He ran uh, he ran on a five point oh one at at our camp in New Jersey, up in North Jersey, uh, actually over a place where I used to coach, Palisades Park, and. Uh, um, kept improving, got better throughout high school, obviously became like the number one recruit in the country, but that didn't stop him keep improving. Um, I admire him. He, he's going, he, he started, he, he took the risk of starting his own NFL agency and I'm an agent and I understand what that takes. So it's pretty interesting that he's taking that business approach. Um, was always a smart guy. Uh, and now, uh, goes around the four, six, one at 277 pounds. Um, you see things like that and you see, other top players that you've worked with in the past uh, go on to do great things and reaffirms to me uh, what we started a long time ago at NEC Sports and the importance and significance of it and how many people now, because back when we started those events, uh, there wasn't a lot of people in, in the game. There was Nike and, and uh, uh, Under Armour and some other people, but uh, there's, everybody comes out with a camp now, and I laugh when people say that uh, – um, uh, any camp that we run is, is anything but um, uh, exceptional as far as getting athletes recruited because that is the number one goal. And if you're a parent or an athlete, the most important thing for you to understand is that you've got to put yourself in a position to get yourself recruited. And I've had seven on seven teams for, for years. This year will actually be the first year I'm not doing it. Um, but and we've had a lot of guys go in Division One from that. But my experience in it is that that's not a recruiting forum. The recruiting forum is to be able to get tested. The bottom line at the at the college level, NFL level, every highest level you're going to play at, how fast are you for your size? How athletic are you for your size? Um, yes, being able to play football is incredibly important. And when all things are equal, speed, size, athletic ability – the ability to play the game obviously is going to be an important thing. And, yes, there are guys that play. So this is for all the people who go, oh, you know, he wasn't as big as what he did. Yes, absolutely. But you better be that 1% of the 1% of the 1%. Those other guys are going to the NFL. Improve your speed. Improve your athleticism. Uh, improve your explosiveness. Those are the key things to being a great football player. They translate on the field. They will, they will make you better. They will give you a chance. When you go out to events, don't just go to an event. You know, you want to go and compete. And, yes, if that's your main intention, that's fine. But go out to an event that is going to actually provide information to the college coaches, okay? Uh, I actually could care less. Like, we post it online, and sometimes, you know, I, I, I can say some. I, I think that's all nonsense, and, and we do it because parents want you to do it. But the truth of the matter is, College coaches have to have the information. When I work with NFL teams, I got to make sure I get the NFL teams the information. Okay, that's important. They are going to make the evaluation. Ultimately, if they think your son is good enough on the field from his film, if they think he's athletic enough to play for them, they will probably bring him into a camp if they can. But the truth of the matter is you got to get tangible results. And stop sitting back and playing one sport only. Um, if you are a skilled player, you, if you don't play a sport like baseball or lacrosse in spring, you better be running track. Um, I looked it up. DK Metcalf ran track. It was a high hurdler. Okay. Uh, probably more than half the skilled guys that are top guys. A Andy Isabella, who has the best 40-yard dash right now, 
ran track in high school. He was state champ in Ohio. Okay. Uh, Metcalf was a high hurdler, ran 14.8 FAT, was a 46 foot triple jumper. Um, those athletic things continue to help you to translate, helps you understand how to run faster. So, yeah, I understand if guys play baseball and that's their thing, and you can point right to Kyler Murray, obviously he was a great baseball player. Um, and those are skill sets that translate to, to quarterback in a lot of cases. Um, and, and it translates in, in a lot of different ways, but uh, speed, athleticism, quickness, speed for your size, power and explosion for your size, those are the key elements to being successful on the field. Um, when you come to our events, you know, we, we test, we evaluate that. Uh, when you go to an event, you want to evaluate those things. You want to know where you stand so you can continue to improve and to work and to become better um, because that's the whole key is to, to continue to work and become uh, better. There is no quick fix for things. Um, if you think there's a quick fix, there isn't. You got to be diligent. So many times athletes go and, and I happen to have a really great Twitter following <laughs> <clears throat> which can be a blessing and a curse, but um, I get anywhere between 20 to 30 questions every single day, hundreds and hundreds of DMs every day. Um, and what's really interesting is people always want help with one most, well, two things, but one is glaring. They're always looking for recruiting help unless they're a top flight player to begin with. Okay. Um, and they're asking you for that for free without knowing anything about them. So I always make them fill out a profile. It's free. We'll send it off to the college coaches for them. That's not going to be an issue before they even step foot at one of our events. Um, now the question becomes, what are you going to do? Do you want to be successful? Are you looking to be a top flight athlete? And what does that, that entail? And when athletes ask, can you help me get recruited? Can you help me get my name out there? The only thing that comes to my mind is this person is too lazy to do the research, hasn't discussed it with their parents, um, don't understand the next steps. And the key is not can you help me or what can you do for me? But the question is, what are you going to do for yourself to put yourself in a position to be recruited. And then once you've done certain things, then that's the time to then initiate a conversation and tell people more about yourself, like me. And is there any recommendations that you have where you can go and get help for a recruiting standpoint? Who should you go and contact? I have endless videos on this on YouTube. I have it on our site at ncsports.com. It is mind-boggling to me when someone, a parent, or uh, when a parent does it, it means they're just not, they're not doing anything at all. When an athlete does it, sometimes it's immaturity, and that's understandable as a young person. But they have to, they have to take, you know, they've got to mature at some point. And if they want to play college football, they want to play college sports, they have to start maturing and taking ownership of their athletic career and academic career. And Go and look through the site and find the resources that can help you. Before you ask for help, do the research before you ask for help. Reach out to college coaches and figure out where you stand before you start to ask others for help. People want to help people that are helping themselves. Start that process. Ask your parent for help. If your parent can't help you or they don't know how to help you, ask your coach for help. Attending events are great. You should absolutely do them. Anyone who says that you shouldn't is lying to you. It does help, okay? It is important to try and figure out which ones do actually send stuff off. But I think, you know, competing is competing, uh, but it helps. And I think if you shy away from testing, you're only fooling yourself. Go out and figure out the process. Get engaged in it. Get on college campuses. Meet with college coaches. Meet with your coach in the right manner. Have expectations and goals. 
make them both realistic and unrealistic. Know which might be unrealistic and know what is probably realistic. So when you're going after those goals, you land somewhere in between and maybe do reach something as a dream. Don't put yourself in a position that it's only a dream. See, guys say all the time, my dream is to play Division I. Okay. So to make your to make your dream a reality is the real thing. How are you making your dream a reality? Because otherwise it's a dream. I dream every single night and it's about multiple different things. And I'll tell you this, that if there was something I wanted to act on, I will act on it. It's important for you to understand that. And it's important for you to go after it. And I'm definitely here as a resource to do that, but you have to figure out ways to help yourself. You have to figure out ways to become better. You have to figure out ways to improve your skill set. You have to figure out ways to become, uh, if you want to become an elite athlete, to find the resources to help you. Everything starts with you. And if you can figure that out, you'll be in a great position. We're here to help you. When I see great performances in the combine, when I see all the athletes that have gone to our events that are in the NFL, and I will put ours up with anyone, including Nike and Adidas and Anarm. I don't give a shit, um, but it, I put it up with anybody. And the truth of the matter is, um, the testing and the information and when you do well and prepare, it just shows that those guys have a great chance to succeed. That is the bottom line. Um, so keep plugging away, keep doing the best you can, and um, uh, you gotta go after it and make things happen. Take actionable steps to make your dreams a reality. Tony Robbins talks about massive action. Massive action is doing something every single day, every single day to get better, every single day to get better, sometimes all day to get better, okay? And a lot of times I'll use myself in stories, but I don't want to use it here. I want to leave it with that. And let's, let's talk soon. Um, Coach Schumann signing off. Enjoy this because this is one that you really will enjoy.